Welcome to Mailbag, where I spend my money so you don't have to spend yours. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Let's see what's in here. Someone commented and donate me the other day for a new blade. That's funny. I've got, I've got blades, I just don't need to change it yet. I actually don't like the blades being too sharp because I'm sort of cut myself like that and don't cut myself. Yeah. So these are screwdrivers. Let's see what in here what they are? No. I think they're different. These are what? No, they're all the same. I think. No, actually no. One might be bigger. Doesn't say on there. No, they're all the same. Must just be a illusion. So these are 1.2 mil. Because I've got one on where are we? This screen over here. I don't know if you can see on there, but it's actually twisted. But it's 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 a bit soft. It's actually twisted the ends. I think that's not going to last much long. There you go. Alright, so this one. Could I have a set of different ones? I'll try and do it. So, what do you have in here? These are all like torques. So, yeah, different, different sizes all the way up. So Phillips, 2.5mm tri-wing, uh, Torx 3, Torx 5, uh, it's a 0.8 pentalobe, Torx 4, I'm going to have to reorganise these to get them in sequence, 1.2mm which is what I've also got over here, Torx 8, Torx 6, Torx 2, yeah I'm going to have to reorganise these, just need to get them in the order, and that's a 2mm flat blade. So that's a nice little set. Because I've got these other sets, like I've got this, this set here, and I've got some other ones on the other side of the room, and I've got these little bits and pieces of sets. I'm trying to sort of tidy up a little bit. I like to have one set, but I'll just get that one set out and use that. But yeah, this thing's organising a little bit better. Let's go from the bottom. Stop. Oh god. Is this some religious thing? No, whatever. Okay. What's in here? It's pretty small. Card. Now this is actually not for me, this is actually for my dad. Canon 3200. Mm, okay. Well, this is supposed to be the card for a C2620 uh, photocopier. So this is a network card, as you can see with the Ethernet port on there. And what it is, it's got a thing on the back of the printer currently, which is called a RIP. Basically, it does a lot of image processing and stuff like that, but it's not working anymore. And he's actually got a couple of copiers there, and um, he needs to have one as a backup just in case the main one fails, obviously. And of course, he doesn't have a backup currently, he's been worried about that for a while. 
this is a newer car for that particular copy and the idea is to use you remove the grip of the back which is basically a standalone computer which is attached to the back of the copier run a network card into it instead which also just plugs in and then you can choose it as a standard printer and you just send it a PDF file and it'll print straight from PDF and stuff like that so you lose options and things like that from the printer but um, I think you, you can't do you lose a bit of control about what you can do hopefully it works it better work it costs enough money All right, what's in this bag? Finally arrived. Okay, excellent. All of these about three months ago, and they never turned up. And so I raised the um, a dispute on Banggood. I think that's where I got them from. Was Banggood? Yeah, it was. I said, look, these things haven't turned up, and so they've resent them. And here they are. They've turned up now. So yeah, this is the second lot arrived. What these are are um, UV curing solder mask. So you've got different ones, obviously different colours. So you've got three of that colour. Three green and one red. So yeah, um, so if you're doing like a little touch up running jumper wire or something or you need to repair something to stop it from getting corroded, you know, you've done a, a patchwork on a bit of PCB and you want to cover it back up again, you can use some of this stuff and how good this is I don't know I've never used it not yet but I've seen plenty of other people using it or something of you know this type so I'll see if these are any good or not I'll, I'll, when I get around to going around using them then um, I'll do that but so the UV curing and they require a UV torch which I think I haven't got any batteries in that right now it feels too light but it's a UV torch so you can use that to uh, cure it so you just put just put that on the um, on the PCB where you need it and then hit the UV and it'll dry it out, cure it and make it get hard. Also got the um, UV adhesive here as well which could be handy too. But I haven't tried that either. But yeah. There'll be links down below for these. Right, what's in here? It says integrated circuit spines times 10. So it's put a map of pugs. Yeah. What are they? Good question. <laughs> K0216. Uh, yeah. And the fact the numbers are all different means there's probably reclaimed parts. But yeah, it probably doesn't matter too much. I don't mind reclaimed stuff as long as it's okay. Yeah. I don't know. I have to look into what the hell those actually are. I don't know. So I think I'll leave them back in there for now. Next thing, what's in here? These are, I believe they are LVDS connectors. I believe they are. I said no MacBooks in here. These aren't originals, they look about the same, so I think that's what they're supposed to be. They look about right. So yeah, I was waiting for these because I've got one, I've got a MacBook which has a um, a bad connector, actually got two of them have got bad connectors. One was a little bit corroded so I tried to touch it up and actually just one of the pins just fell off it, it's like oh that's not bloody good. And I I had some of these connectors but they weren't the right ones, it turned out they were um, these are 30 pin, I think the ones I had were 40 pin. So I had to get some of these ones as well. But at least now I've got those house two computers I can start trying to fix now. Because I'm waiting for those. Alright, what's in here? Got a cling film, I hate that. I hate cling film wrapping.
What are these? That's two of them. I can't read that. <laughs> Can you read it? Probably not. Don't know if you can see on camera. So ST125. Yeah, S1125. Let's find out what they are. Okay, so that's what these parts are. TPS51125 RGER. It's one of the things with these chips being so small, I can't fit, fit the full code on there. So uh, you have to try and decode them and figure out what they are. So that's what these are. I don't know what they're for. They're, um, they're also MacBook parts, but I don't know which bit of the MacBook they're for. Um, no idea. I'll have to look it up again, but I'm just stocking up and put. I think I might need one for something actually. I don't remember now. So this one. This one's actually marked, that's handy. IJK03 uh, E1 or IDNS. I'm not quite sure it's 1DNS or IDNS. Very small chip, 8 pin chip. Um, cool, those are more MacBook parts. I th think that was part of the 3.42 volt regular circuit, if I remember rightly. I could be wrong. What's in this one? Oh, that might be it. Seems to be. Hmm. Okay. It's a bit smaller than I was expecting it to be, actually. But it's okay. This is just a little bracket. So you can put a chip into it. A very simple thing. So you put a little chip into it and it hooks underneath those those T slot parts there which you then lock in place with a Allen key here. And um, so then, then you can do like reboarding work stuff like that. You can just rest it on top and clean it up or whatever but I'm expecting it to be like a T-shaped piece. I think I'd look back into that. But then I was, was kind of flicking through late at night most likely. <laughs> and, uh, not paying proper attention, it's entirely possible, but it's okay. I mean, that's actually captive in there, that spring doesn't fall out. All it does is holds the uh, chip up against those hooks there. So, yeah, pretty simple thing. Thought I'd give that a go too, might be handy with something. It's only cheap, wasn't that expensive. And uh, element 14 bag. So, I think I know what's in here already. Bunch of diodes. These are the shocky diodes from a couple of weeks ago. Um, well, for the people in the live chat, it's well, in the live stream, it's a couple of weeks ago. But uh, obviously, this is going to be released for a few weeks. Do you see it on the natural mailbag? So these are the shocky diodes ordered from RS Components and Edema 14 at exactly the same time. And these arrived one and a half weeks later after RS. Now, the weird thing is, usually, it's the other way around. Usually RS is slower than LMA14, but in this case LMA14 was far slower than RS. So you never quite know what you're going to get. I mean, your results may, I suppose your results may vary. I mean, I don't know. But I was surprised. I was expecting uh, LMA14 to get here first. But anyway, I've got a bunch of Scotty diodes. Shocky diodes now. So, um, and I've already done the repair, so I don't actually need them anymore. 